Well, hello. Welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Taurus love prediction reading for July 29th through August 4th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my patient, kind, stubborn, lovable, fun, Taurus. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on, my Taurus? Let's see, Taurus. What you got going on? Show me spirit, guys. Ace of Swords. The Justice card. Uh-oh. Seven of Wands. Ten of Wands. And the Six of Swords. <laughs> well, karma is a B. I'm oops, sorry, I can't say the word I want to say. Karma, 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 karma. Let's see. You found some something has been revealed to you. You know the truth about something. You know, and you know the, the worst thing is when you know something and somebody steps to you and they're gonna lie to you. Whomever this person is is in your love space. He's lying. I'm just, I don't know how else to say it. They're lying. They're lying. Because, see, you know the truth. The Ace of Swords is leading your reading. That's all about truth and clarity. You already know the, the, the stuff that he's doing. You know that. You already know that. But yet he still is going to be with the Seven of Wands energy. In the middle of your reading, he's going to straight up look you in your face and lie. And try to, try to lie to you about what he's been doing. You already know. You've already, you've already, you already know. Uh, any, anyway, so the Justice card is in between the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands. The Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Somebody that's trying to, you know, stand up for themselves and not, this person's lying. And the Ace of Swords. Truth, and here's the Justice card. And the Justice card is all about karma. Also can represent a Libra sun sign. But it is about karma. It's about karma. It's about what you put out, you get back. So all this mess that he's been doing to you, it's going to come back to him. But right now it's coming back to him because I think you're about to, I, know, I don't even think, I know. You're like, you're, it's almost like you're sitting there listening to him and go, mm-hmm, yeah, okay, sure, mm-hmm, uh-huh, I understand. I mean, you, I mean, you, I see you almost, it's almost like, it's like you're, you're just being real cool before you really come in and let him know. I will say this. You're going to get rid of him because here's the Six of Swords. And that means you're moving to calmness in the middle of this chaos mess you've been in. You're moving to calmness. You see, because the Ten of Wands is here as well. And you know, the Ten of Wands is all about burdens. You're letting a burden go. He's been nothing but a burden. If it wasn't women, it was money. He's been nothing but a burden. That Ten of Wands, you're letting, it is that, that part of this, of your life is going to be moving on because that Six of Swords is there. You are moving, look at this card. She's moving up and beyond in the clouds from all this chaos and what she's leaving behind. I hate a liar though, because he's a liar. And that's all I say, he's a liar. He's a liar because you do know the truth. Now give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading just to see additional information the spirit guys want you to know. Sit back, relax, Taurus. Just give me three to five minutes. Let's see. Show me, sit back and relax. Why is this Ace of Swords here for my Taurus? Show me, spirit, guys. Why is the Ace of Swords here for my Taurus? Show me. The Sun card. Oh, you got the truth. It has, you know, the Sun card is one of the best cards in the deck. But see what the Sun card is. A lot of people don't know. is Because what it does is it illuminates the pros and the cons. It illuminates what's happening in the relationship. It lets you know. It lets you know that, yeah, the sun card is rainbows and unicorns and all of that. But more importantly, it illuminates. It shows you. It reveals to you. And it's over this um, ace of swords, which means the truth has been revealed to you. The truth has been revealed to you. You know exactly what you're dealing with. You know exactly what he's doing. Huh. 
And for you, the sun card is happiness. It's happiness because you know now. There is no cloudy. You you absolutely know exactly what he's doing. You don't have to question it anymore. Let's see why the justice card is here. Why this karma card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the justice card here? King of Swords. Uh-huh. Okay. King of Swords is a very rational man. When I say he's rational, he is. You know, he, he, he puts people on a pedestal. He does that. So much so that you can't live up to what he his expectations are because really and truly we're all flawed. We all have issues. But you know, he's so rational that he's irrational. You know, he's that kind of dude. He's just very rational. He's very, you know, matter of fact. There is no, he doesn't love from the heart. He loves from the head. He's very exterior. What does it look like? That's him. And see, that's why you see with this justice card here. Yeah, he, he, he talks a good game sometimes. King of Swords, don't get me wrong. Not every King of Swords energy is like this. But the King of Swords is so rational that he's irrational. He talks a good game. When I say a good game, you know, he looks at on the outside but doesn't understand what's happening on the inside. He doesn't know how to see interior. He only knows how to see exterior. He looks at things just at face value. Whereas you look at them from the heart space. And see, the thing is, is when you have someone like that, they're kind of unemotional. They're unemotional. They don't have the capacity to love, and you have the capacity to love, and he does not. Here's the seven of wands that's here, there. That's there. The seven of wands. Not that he doesn't love, but he loves differently than you love. Let's say that. Seven of wands is him trying to stand up for himself for all this madness that he put you through. Because he has, it. like I said, because it's next to the ten of wands. If it wasn't women, it was money. If it wasn't money... It was uh, speeding tickets. I'm just I'm just using examples. It was always something. If it wasn't uh, speeding tickets, it was baby mama drama. It was it was always something with him. This chaos, but he doesn't see it because he almost thinks that he's the best thing. He doesn't see that. He's a king of swords energy. He fit, he thinks it's all okay as long as on the outside it looks good. It's all okay, but on the inside all hell is breaking loose. You know what? You understand what I'm saying on the inside. You know how people, you see people and you think, oh man, everything, look, what a wonderful family, da, da, da. And then all of a sudden you find out they've broken up, they've, um, that they, uh, they've broken up, they've divorced and they're not long together. And you find out that this man was just a total, uh, a-hole. I mean, I just, I don't know. The King of Sources on this particular comes out as being a total a-hole. So let's see why the Seven of Wands is here because he's a liar too. Show me why is the Seven of Wands here. What I three of swords? What did I tell you? He's he, he you're you're broken because of him, and his infidelity is here too. That's really hurting you. There's two swords, you and him. Then that one sword through the heart. That's the other people or the other women he's been dealing with, or the money issues or whatever. There's just heartbreak here, heartbreak. So let's see why the ten of wands is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the ten of wands here? Four of pentacles. Four of Pentacles, and that Four of Pentacles means you're trying to get your stability back. You really are. You're trying to get be stable again, to get out of this chaos, to get out of this mess. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get stable again. Yeah, you're trying to be stable again. You're holding on to everything that you have. You're trying to be stable because you know you got to watch your money with him. I'm just saying. You're trying to be stable again. And it's over this Ten of Wands. And what's the only way that you're going to be stable is you're going to have to move away from this mess, this chaos that you've been in. And you're getting ready to do that with this Six of Swords. Let's see. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Six of Swords here for my Taurus? Show me. I have the Hanged Man. Now, Taurus, when I see that Hanged Man, I'm going to be very honest with you. That Hanged Man means you're stuck. You're not moving forward. You're not going backwards. But you should be. Because here's the Six of Swords and the Hangman is over the Six of Swords. Let me say, I do believe you were stuck. You were very stuck. You didn't know what to do. You know, you just, you were trying to figure it out because every, your head was on fire. That's what they say about the Hangman. You know, you're just twirling. Your head was on fire because of all of the things that you found out. Remember I said at the beginning of the reading that you found out the truths. You found out all this truth. You found out exactly what was going on. But let me tell you with the Six of Swords, you're moving on from this chaos. 
Yeah, you were stuck, but you're moving on from this chaos that you were in the middle of. Let's start at the very beginning, Ace of Swords. You know the truth now. There is no, and you know the truth because also the Sun card is here. The Sun card is one of the best cards in the deck um, because it is about rainbows and unicorns and have a good time and all of that. And I think you really did with this man. I really do. But the Sun card also illuminates things. It shows you the pros and the cons. And that's what you're learning with this, with this situation here. You're learning here. You see now. But, you know, here's the Justice card, this Karma card. When you see the Justice card, that's Karma. That is Karma. Absolutely. Whatever he's given to you, he's going to give back. And then you have the King of Swords here. That's the energy that he has. You know, and I told you, everything looks good on the outside, but on the inside, everything is a, a friggin' mess. That's how the King of Swords energy is. That's the kind of energy the King of Swords is. Now, I see the Seven of Wands here. This man is a straight liar. He lies, he lies, he lies. I don't know how else to say it. You know, he tries to stand up for the for, for what he's doing and all the craziness. But there's that three of swords that just tells the truth. The three of swords, you know, you, you've had a broken heart over him. You've had a broken heart because if it wasn't with this ten of wands being next, if it wasn't heartbreak over women, it was heartbreak over baby mama drama, it's heartbreak over money. It was one thing after another, chaos, peace. You're getting peace back, though, because here, the Four of Pentacles is here. You're, get, you're getting your peace back. And when I see the Four of Pentacles, you're getting your peace back, your stability back. Away from this Ten of Wands. So this, this Ten of Wands means completing, too. Completing all this mess that you've been through. Hangman is here, and it's over the Six of Swords. And that Six of Swords is about moving away. Going to peace, having peace again. And that Hangman is there. That Hangman is there. At one time, you were just kind of stuck. But, oh, you're not stuck anymore because you're moving forward. You're moving on from this situation. So let's see. You're going to calmness. Show me, oracles. What do you want to say, oracles? Show me. Show me, oracles. What do you have to say? Well, no. No. <laughs> also, big happy changes. Oh, you're ready? Wow. It says let go? Absolutely. Absolutely, the cards, the, the oracles, they just that's what they're saying. Um, they're saying, Move on, move on. You're ready, you're ready. It's your time, it's your time to move on from this situation. Uh, I'm gonna pull this card because saying in a year from now, a year from now, things will be totally different, totally different. Your life will have changed, your life would have totally changed. I, I'm gonna pull this card too because it says trust, and you will, you should trust that there's all there's something better. There's something better. He's definitely not the one. He's definitely not the one. And let's see what the last card that I'm going to... Oh, the last card. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to pull. It says, yes, there's something better. Things are changing. Move on. Oh, I said the last card, but my card came out. So 